Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Loot Chest plugin. So, as the name would suggest, this allows you to create awesome loot chests that spawn randomly over a set amount of time. So, as you can see, two just spawned right in front of me, and as you can see, there are cool particle effects, there's fireworks, and inside there's some loot. So, you can set the percentage chance of each item in each loot chest as 1 to 100. And then if we look back at this one, it has respawned and we've got diamonds this time. So you can customize it, you can make them whatever you want. But let's go ahead and create one of our own. So first of all, if we do forward slash LC, that's going to look at all of the commands. But if we want to get started, we need to actually grab a chest first and obviously some items that we want to spawn in it. Once we've done this, we can find a place to put it. So let's go all the way over here and we are going to pop it down and then stick in the flowers. There we go. Now while looking at it, we need to do forward slash LC create followed by a name, let's call it SM, server minor for short, and it will bring up a GUI with a few different buttons in. Up at the top, we can copy the settings from another chest to speed things up, which is really cool. But if we want to go back into the GUI, we can do forward slash LC edit and then SM. So we can choose a particle effect for this chest. There's a, quite a few to choose from. So have a look here and see what, which one you'd want. And then down at the bottom with the diamond, we can go ahead and set the chance for each item. So by default, every item is 100%, but you can change this in the config file. And you left click to up the percentage and right click to down the percentage. Then if we go into the clock on the right, we can change how often it respawns. So we've got days, we've got hours, and we've got minutes. And you can just left click and right click to change the amount. Up at the top, you can deactivate this and stop it from respawning. Then in the middle, if you want to add more items, you can. So that is how you would edit the items and how often it spawns and all that good stuff. But if we do forward slash LC set hollow and then the chest name, so SM, and then whatever we want, we can customize how the hologram above the chest looks. So at the moment it's very boring, but if we add some color codes, some format codes, maybe call it awesome loot, and then hit enter, it's going to change next time it spawns. So then if we do forward slash set time SM, this is another way of changing the amount of time, so 20 seconds before it respawns. Then if we do forward slash LC respawn SM, that is another way of forcing it to respawn like so. As you can see, the hologram has respawned and it looks pretty awesome. So if you want to change where your chest is located, you can do forward slash LC set pause and then obviously the name SM of it. So you can put that elsewhere if you want. There is another really cool command which allows you to make it spawn randomly in a set radius. So if you do forward slash LC random spawn and then obviously SM and then the radius. So let's go with maybe 20 blocks. You can see if we have a look around, it has respawned, where is it, over here, kind of similar to the other chests, and that is an awesome way of spawning it somewhere else. Finally, you can do forward slash LC reload to reload the config file if you've made any changes. So let's head over there now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are three YML files. So if we start at the top in the config.yml, what we can see in here is lots of things that we can change. So up at the top, we can edit the particle effects. Do we want them enabled? What do we want the default to be? And the number, the respawn ticks, the radius, and the speed we can all change. Then we have the default reset time, which is 10. Obviously, you can change this in the GUI or by command. The default item chance, so it's probably best to set this at 50%. Do we want to use holograms? I think they look pretty cool. Do you want to remove empty chests? and you want to remove chest after first opening. And then we've got a couple more things, hologram distance to the chest, so one block, and prevent hoppers being placed under a loot chest. And then check for respawn in ticks, 600, and then do we want to enable fall effects? Down at the bottom, we've got the respawn notify, so this is going to be in chat and you can see it says which chest it is and the coordinates. So that's pretty much everything in the config file. Then we have the data.yml. This is going to store all of the information about each chest. And finally, we have the lang.yml. So this is the language file. So in here, you're going to find things that are going to appear in chat, in the menu, and obviously in the help command. So you don't really need to edit this at all. We can go back and that is pretty much everything in the config files. Head over to the Spigot page and we can see it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft. There's loads of cool features and loads of information on the Spigot page. If you need any help, contact the developer. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. 
But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.